Hello and welcome to the full video tutorial of the TOPS Barber Financial Tracker Spreadsheet. This was designed and built in Google Sheets, which means you don't have to purchase any additional spreadsheet software to use it. Uh, Google Sheets is available free to anybody online. To give a quick overview of who this spreadsheet was intended for, uh, this is meant for independent barbers that are working for another barbershop. Uh, this one's not intended for barbershop owners that have many barbers working for them that they're generating income off of. Uh, that'll be handled in a different spreadsheet in a different video. So to jump right into it, when you first receive your copy, uh, you'll need to enter in your name, the year that you're going to be entering in the financial data for. Uh, it's going to automatically populate those dates as you see down there. And then you're going to need to select your rental method, whether you're paying a weekly booth rent or if you're doing a percent split uh, of your services with the shop that you're working for. So if you do a weekly booth rent, uh, this is going to update down here, and you just need to enter in your weekly booth rent amount, and then the day of the week that you're paying that booth rent, and you'll see it's going to automatically update that so that every Sunday you're paying that $250 booth rent. Conversely, if you wanted to do a percent split, it's going to ask you what your uh, barber percent is of that split, so say you keep 70%. It's going to automatically calculate that shop split as keeping 30%. Um, but for this example, we'll keep it on the booth rent uh, version. So each day, you're just going to need to enter in your daily values for each of these different metrics, such as service sales, so things like haircuts, uh, stylings, uh, dyeing someone's hair, uh, product sales, any commissions you generate from selling things like hair supplies uh, in your barbershop, uh, any tips you earn, it's going to assume that you keep 100% of your tips. Uh, bonus sales for things that you're doing outside of the barbershop, also going to assume you keep 100% of that. Automatically calculating your booth rent, and then your expenses that you'll enter in from a different tab are going to be automatically aggregated and ported into uh, the correct day here. And then it's going to calculate your net income, which is all of your revenue sources, less your expenses, such as booth rent uh, and those other expenses we talked about. Then there's two tabs you're going to automatically calculate um, those on different intervals. So on a weekly interval, it's going to automatically aggregate all those metrics. And then on a monthly interval, it's also going to aggregate all those metrics, uh, as well as yearly down here at the bottom. Um, the most uh, interesting one to you is probably going to be your net income for the year. On the expenses tab, uh, you just want to keep track of all the expenses you're incurring that can be reduced from your taxable income. Uh, you don't want to pay any more taxes than you absolutely have to. Uh, so keep a good uh, log of what those are, the description, the amount, the date, uh, where you purchased it, and then any other notes you might have on each of those expenses. Then on to the most interesting uh, page in this spreadsheet uh, is the analytics tools that are going to help you monitor your performance of your business throughout the year. Um, for these, you can see the monthly cash flow in the top left. It's going to show you your monthly uh, revenue, expenses, and net income for each month throughout the year. Your revenue breakdown is going to show you uh, all those different revenue generating sources you have and how much of a percent allocation each of those uh, resulted in for you throughout the year. If you hover over them, it'll also show you the actual dollar amount associated with each. Then your average daily revenue from all sources, uh, so it's going to be all these different revenue sources. It's going to show you that for each week, um, each day of the week. Uh, so you can see perhaps uh, if there's a certain day of the week where you're earning a lot of money or some day of the week where you're not earning that much money. Uh, it can help you uh, identify ways to increase your income uh, as well as optimize your schedule to make sure you're working whenever you have the most income uh, coming in. Then the bottom right, we have the net income walk, which is going to take you from your service sales revenue, adding in your product sales, adding in your tips and your bonus sales. It's going to subtract out your booth rent as well as your expenses. Uh, if this was the percent split method, uh, it would also automatically calculate that instead of booth rent. Uh, and it's going to drive you all the way to your net income. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you got value from this video, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, if you get consistent value from my videos and my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and as always, as always uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out uh, in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer those. Thank you.